an union of the clavicle and its treatment. What is a non-union? Non-union means a bony union will not occur without help. The help is usually surgery, so non-union can occur as an impending one that a fracture will not heal without help, or it can occur as established one, which means a good amount of time passed, usually about four months, and the fracture did not heal. Timing of surgery is debatable. Most of the clavicle fracture will heal without surgery. Conservative treatment will give about 85% success rate, and the non-union rate is about 15%. It may be hard to diagnose the non-union due to superimposition of the ends of the clavicle, which will give a false impression of healing. So you may need to get a CT scan. There is no orthogonal views like an AP and lateral with other fracture. You don't have that here. So one view of the clavicle is not going to give you a very good impression whatever the fracture healed or not. What are the risk factors for non-union? A female, advanced age, fracture displacement, fracture comminution, or fracture overlap, a lateral third fracture of the clavicle, and the smoking can also be a risk factor. Now treatment. If the non-union is painless, leave it alone. If the non-union is painful, then the patient will need surgery. So the typical patient will have a painful range of motion. The patient may also have thoracic outlet syndrome or brachial plexus compression. The result of surgical treatment of non-union of the clavicle gives about 90 to 95 percent good to excellent result. There are three types of the non-union of the clavicle. One is atrophic, two is hypertrophic, three a non-union with shortening. You want to compare both sides on the same view. Tactics of treatment. For the non-union to heal, you need vascularity and stability of the non-union. The vascularity will come from a bone graft, either local bone graft that is saved and collected and packed into the non-union area, or an iliac crest bone graft. How about the stability? The stability will come from a stable fixation, usually by a superior anatomic plate with six cortices on each side. Sometimes an intrafragmental lag screw compression is used, then a neutralization plate is used. So let's take the types one by one. Type 1, atrophic non-union. You will need bone graft and plate fixation. The bony ends are cleaned, prepared, roughened, and sometimes the medullary canal is entered. Number 2 type non-union is the hypertrophic type. You will need stability. Usually the stability is obtained by a plate. You may trim the extra hypertrophic bone graft and use it locally, but you don't need it. You just need stability. Non-union with shortening. So you're going to compare the length of both clavicle preoperatively by having one film that shows both clavicles in the same film. And check how much shortening you have and check the overlap between the bone ends. If the shortening is more than the overlap, then you probably will need to have a bicortical or tricortical interposition graft if the shortening is more than 10 millimeter. 
You need to fill this gap to restore the length, and you probably need a strong graft. You would do the same thing if you are dealing with a non-union of the clavicle with shortening and a gap. Now there is another type that it is a tough type. The patient had fixation, stabilization, usually a plate with failure of fixation and non-union. So the first thing you want to do, you want to roll out infection, you get CRP and sedimentation rate. Check the clinical appearance of the wound, try to get interoperative culture. You're going to debreed the bone adequately. You may need one of two approaches. The first one, debreed now and then close the wound and fix it later. So the operation is done in two stages. Or you can do it in one stage, debreed now and then plate and cancel this bone graft now, just to hide the bone graft. Both approaches is a judgment call of the surgeon, depending on the appearance of the wound and the clinical experience of the surgeon and the condition and the circumstances of the patient. Bone morphogenic protein, especially infused, I don't use it in this area near the chest because the fluid may travel and may become unpredictable or hard to contain. Thank you very much for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.